So a couple of days ago, I released a video showing you how to combine your most popular free live TV streaming services into one application on your Nvidia Shield TV. Now what that allows you to do guys is take your Zumo, take your Pluto, IMDB, Red Bull TV, put it in one place, and with those channels added up, you're getting over a thousand channels that you can watch. And again, this is free and 100% legal. So if you're on Nvidia Shield TV, I'll leave a link in the description, go ahead and check it out. But if you have a Fire Stick, a Fire TV Cube, any Amazon Fire TV device, you can do the same thing using a different method. So in this video, I am gonna show you how to combine your free streaming services into one UI on your Fire Stick. But before we do, head over to the channel, hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So this process is gonna be pretty straightforward. If you're in the US, of course, this is gonna be readily available. However, if you're outside of the US, uh, this might not work or you might need to use the VPN. Uh, of course, links will be in the description. So this doesn't require a lot of setup. If you own a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube, it is already built in and you probably haven't noticed it, but if you scroll down and we're gonna go to the on now area. Or if you have a Fire TV device with the uh, TV or the guide button, which looks like a TV with two antennas, the bunny ears, you can just select that and it will bring you uh, back to the same area. Yeah, so the on now is gonna kinda give you what's currently running, uh, but it's pulling from those sources, guys. So if we click on guide, you're gonna see a nice looking TV guide. So this is 5.30 p.m. today and you can scroll all the way over. You can see this really looks premium. You can scroll down, you can see we got hundreds of channels. I think the last time I counted it was almost 300. So a lot of channels there and um, all of them are working fine. Let me go ahead and just click them. Let's try Major League. Let's go ahead and check that one out. All right, we're gonna watch it. So I am gonna blur this out, but up top it tells you the source, it tells you it is pulling from Pluto, it tells you the channel number. So on the bottom, if you click left, you go to your guide. If you click right, you go to on now, and you click on the menu button, take you to the options. So I had to blur that out, but let me go back to the main guide. So literally almost 300 channels. So let me show you how to set this up. So on your Fire TV stick remote, while you're in the user interface, hit the menu button on your remote. And this is gonna be the three lines on your Fire Stick. So when you hit the menu, you're gonna have a couple options. So the first one is the add channels. So when you go to add channels, it's gonna tell you everything that's available that's compatible with this application. So it do have some free stuff, which I already have enabled, but also has some premium apps that you can add. So if you guys have a Hulu with live TV subscription, maybe a YouTube TV subscription, Philo, we have Sling TV, Discovery Plus. You can also add that so it shows up in that same user interface. But for this one, we're gonna focus on the free applications. So these are the only free apps that are compatible. So we have IMDB, you can see I have 43 channels there. I have Pluto, 51, Plex, 51, Tubi, 32, Zumo, 49. I also have Newswire Fire TV, Haystack, as well as Red Bull. So it's incorporating all of these channels. However, if you didn't have one of these apps installed, let's say you didn't have Plex installed, you'll have to scroll all the way down and then you'll see Plex or Tubi or whatever you install it on the bottom. Then you'll be able to add that in. If you don't have the app installed on your system, it will just take you to the store where you can go ahead and download it and enable it within the service. So this is pretty cool. So let me scroll back up. So everything here is shown, I believe I counted roughly 300 channels or so. And um, cool things that it's pulling from different sources. So you are gonna get a variety there as well. So I'm gonna go back up. So you do have an option there to manage all channels. And I think this is uh, pretty cool that you can organize what goes where. So from here, you can move the source. Maybe you want another channel. Let's go ahead and we'll just hit the fast forward. So you can move it up and down guys takes those channels in order so you'll have IMDB first, Pluto second, Plex, and so on and so forth. You also have the option there to hide the source. However, if you click on IMDB for instance, it's going to show you all those channels that are associated with that particular application. And from there you have some options as well. So you can hide the channel, you can reset the order, or you can hit the menu for more options. So let's hit the menu. So the menu allows you to sort it by alphabetical order. If you look up top, you have all, which I'm showing right now. You also have favorites and you have hidden. So if you hide the channel, for instance, I can hit the, the play pause to hide the channel. It will show over in the hidden. So let me do that with funny or die. So play pause. So you can see now that funny or die is hidden. 
Um, same thing if you guys wanted to favorite channel, all you do is click on it. So let's go to dust. All right, now that's added to my favorites. And if I go to the right, you can see my favorites right there. And to the right again, my hidden channels right there. And you can see that favorite channel is now highlighted. That way you know what your favorite. So like I said, there's a lot of options within this. That was the add channels area. Uh, you can get to the manage channel. That's the area we're just in. So that's another way to get to it. This integration I think is really cool. So like I said, the only thing you need to do is download the applications that you are planning to use. And these are the compatible free apps up top. These are the compatible premium applications. However, if something isn't set up, it will show at the bottom of the premium and that way you can add it and it will direct you to the app store to download it if you don't have it already. So in the comments, drop your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of this on now guide area on your Amazon Fire TV device. Any questions, drop it in the comments. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.